Hello guys, today I want to talk about my item builds as trash and when your recall timing is best. So let's begin with your starting items. I always start with Relic Shield and 4 red potions and the yellow trinket. Relic Shield gives you and your AD carry lanes abstain because of the passive healing. Trash is the only melee support where I would buy Relic Shield because it's easy to, uh, to last hit with his E passive. I know a lot of people that will switch the Relic Shield into a Talisman later in the game, but I personally won't do this, because I work a lot with the Shield active during fights. It works really well with the Locket uh, active field as well. Let's talk about your first bag. This is a very important step for your support laning phase. If you don't get kills during laning phase, you will have problems with purchasing core items. So most of the early items are gold winning or vision winning items and as everyone knows vision wins games so it grants you gold too. If you go back with around 350 gold you should get your normal boots and some potions in addition. The boots give you the movement speed to back up your jungler while counter jungling on bot side or help him out if he gets counter jungled on bot lane side. You can roam towards mid lane as well. After you reach the amount of 380 gold, you should wait for a ruby crystal. Remember that you can take a ward plus ruby crystal if you reach 475 gold. Around 500 to 600 gold, you should take vision ward with you. <coughs> Sorry. If you see that you have a lack of incoming gold, you can take the upgrade of relic shield in front of the side zone at around 500 to 600 gold too. After 725, Gold, you are able to build Ruby Crystal into boots. If you are able to go back with 800 gold, it's nearly perfect for you because you are able to finish your side stone instantly and gain tankiness and vision. With 1125 gold, you can go for boots with side stone, and if you are a rich bitch as support and come home with 1300 gold, you can already take side stone and the first upgrade of Relic Shield. I think it's called uh, Tavern. Tavern's price? I don't, I'm not sure. If you finish your sidestone, you need to sell your yellow warding trinket and buy the red sweeper instead of it. Don't forget to use it. Try to divert the river before your jungler arrives to gain bot lane. When you reach level 9, you need to get your trinket upgrade on the next pack. It will give you a lot of objective control if you use it right. You go with your team to destroy the wards around Drake. You will reach. Uh, you will be able to check at least two bushes and dragon pit itself. If the jungler also got his sweeper upgrade, you can divert the whole dragon area without even a single pink ward. Nevertheless, you should buy vision wards for important vision spots. Later, more about this. Now let's talk about the question: mobility boots or markers. If the enemy team has much CC or a lot of AP damage, you can go for Mercos after your first upgrade on Relic Shield. When you build mobility boots, you are really need to use them. Else, they don't pay off at all. Try to take deep vision control in the enemy jungle, but don't walk alone there and roam mid lane sometimes. After your first pack, you normally should have finished your side stone. That's important for you and your team as well. You gain a lot of tankiness during the early laning phase, and your team will thank you for the vision you are able to give them. Now we should talk about the, your next items. Which one uh, you build depends on following questions. First, enemy more AP or more AD damage? Only AD? You build Romox into Thermal, they won't do any damage to you. B, uh, AOE, AP like Katarina, Annie, etc., and some AD champs. You build a Rendians into a Locker of the Iron Zolari. Uh, next case. Does the enemy AD carry depend on attack speed like Wayne, Jinx, etc.? You build a Frozen Heart. If no one else uh, like a tanky jungler or your top laner is building it. If you aren't sure about the builds of the other players, ask them. You need to communicate else you will have two or just non-frozen heart in your late game. That's terrible. Third case, is there any really hard to see that can land onto your AD carry or maybe a set with his death mark? 
you can build a uh, Mikael's as uh, second big item to instantly take hard CC like Ash ult, Leona ult, etc. Or just a set ult away from your AD carry or mid laner. Normally you sh don't use your Mikael on tanks. To make it a little bit more short, I have some full build examples here for you. Try them out and leave me your opinion in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I hope you I hope I could help you. Don't wait to ask me questions to the builds. See you later guys.